landing one three left of this vehicle. Pablo Del Tango, India Bank, Palm Springs Tower, Squawk 6250. 6250. Pablo Del Tango, India Mike. Palm Springs Altimeter is 2985, radar contact, about uh, one zero miles west of the Palm Springs VOR. Presently landing uh, runway 31, so requesting straight in for 13. Uh, that's available. Ever uh, first with Papa Del Tango, India Mike, make straight in runway 13 left and clear to land. Wind is 0905. Clear to land runway 3 left, Papa Del Tango, India Mike, thanks. Palm Springs, QS, Pilatus 4658, East Type, PC-12, Slam Call, request clearance to Vegas S-Filed. Pilatus 4658, Palm Springs clearance. Good afternoon, unable to give you S-File, and I'll be full route standby. Pilatus 4658 is cleared to the Las Vegas airport. VFI Cathedral 1, departure procedure to Palm Springs, Victor 370, to 29 Palms, Victor 538, Cresso, join the Cresso 3 arrival. Maintain 7000, set by level 2, 405 minutes after departure, departure frequency 126.7, squawk 6316. Palm Springs, Victor 37029, Palms, Victor 538, Presso, Presso 3, uh, initially climb 7,000 expected, cruiser FG5, departure 167, Spock 6306, Blast 465. Plus 4658, three back is correct. Tango, you might text to the ramp via Echo, and then the Texting to the ramp via Echo, remaining on this frequency, probably does anything in Mike. Ontario Tower says the 237 Johnny Alpha are approximately 3 uh, 4 miles to the west inbound to land. Number 237 Charlie Alpha, Roger, inner left traffic, left downwind runway 26 left before base. Enter left downwind 26 left and McCoy base uh, 237 Charlie Alpha. Charlie Tower United to Quality 2, on the visual for 20 right, we'll be turning for a right bridge starting. United 242 Johnny Tower, runway 20 right, clear to land, wind 1703. Clear to land. Here, 520 Kilo Palomar Tower, runway 24, Quid Land, and 210 at 1. Good Charlie Alpha, runway 26 left, Quid Land. 26 left, Quid Land, 7 Charlie Alpha. Palm Springs Ramp Class 4658, East Ramp, East Weather, going for taxi. Palm Springs 4658, Palm Springs Ground, runway 31 right, taxi via Echo and Bravo. Trail right via Echo Bravo 4658. Riverside Tower, good. Morning, November 2903 Alpha with you on the island. Number 2903 Alpha, Riverside Tower, good afternoon. Runway 9 are clear, low approach, report to miss. Number 2903 Alpha, CSP, low approach, runway 9, next is the one to Palm Springs Tower, class 4658, ready to go, train right back, bro. Okay, what's the radio on your radio chart? Class 4658, Palm Springs Tower, runway 31 right, clear for data. Shift take out your right bus for 65. Here's our Yankee Kilo Roger Taxi into the ramp via Alpha. Via Alpha. Bus for 658, contact so how departure. Contact departure 465. Says the Southern Charlie Alpha is clear of the active taxi to the GA parking place. We're sending the Charlie Alpha in on this frequency taxi into the South Ramp via Sierra. South Ramp via Sierra with the Southern Charlie Alpha place. Number 03 Alpha, going Alpha, confirm going around or going missed? No, number 03 Alpha, going missed. Number 03 Alpha, Roger, execute the published missed approach procedure. Flying published missed approach procedure. Number 29, get up here. Hyper 2903 Alpha, contact SoCal departure. Contact departure, get up here. Number 03 Alpha, departure frequency 135 wind. 135.4 for departure. Number 29, get up here. Ontario Tower, no, 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 no. To Mike inbound RLS 26 left. Number 516 Mike, Ontario Tower. Good afternoon, Ontario. Uh, wind is calm. Runway 26 left, clear land. 26 left, clear land, 6 on Mike. Ontario Tower, number 36. Correction 516 Delta Mike, clear the active at uniform, taxiing to the south right ramp. Number 6 Delta Mike, Roger, taxiing on the south ramp, yes, here, remain on this frequency. Yes, here on this frequency, 26 Delta Mike. Number 
Alpha, Riverside Tower, runway 27, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 27, middle 3 Alpha. 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 Clear to land, runway
I was just watching a recent stream from Keith and somebody had suggested to Keith to make his stream more like Uncertified Pilot. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, well, I love uh, Keith's stream, uh, obviously. But it's good to know that uh, the kind of setup that we're using here, the content that we're streaming at the Uncertified is, uh, is being recommended. That's uh, really cool to see. Hey, GPB, good to see you as well. Uh, just... Um, Incidentally, today uh, looked at your change log and saw that you updated a couple of airports. Uh, great work, great work. Hope you're doing okay. And Pad, good to see you as well. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, the video, uh, Mrs. Uncertified actually did her traffic patterns, her first introductory real-world introductory flight lesson uh, this Saturday, uh, which we video recorded and also streamed uh, streamed here uh, on the on the channel. Uh, which was really, really wonderful. And you guys were so kind and further encouraging her and me also just to pursue our uh, uncertified pilot project. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, hop over to YouTube. Uh, I, I think it's also still here on Twitch. Uh, it's really highly recommended. Yeah, busy. All right, Greg. Well, busy is good, I guess. We're all busy. Um, so guys, uh, I've got a few, I've got, first I've got a question. First, I noticed also by, uh, from the previous stream, that my sound settings are a little bit off, perhaps. And uh, that's because uh, my headset has its own kind of volume mixer settings, apart from uh, the sound mixer thing on my Windows and also that of OBS that I use as a software to stream the content. So my first question to you guys is, how is the sound? And uh, also, I guess, during the flight uh, in relation to the engine sounds and uh, other sounds that you might hear, let me know if something is off or my voice is a little bit uh, low or too loud or whatever, so I can tweak a little bit of sliders and, um, and get it just right. So uh, please don't hesitate to uh, give me some feedback there. Um, also, um, as, I'm, uh, as I just mentioned, I'm using uh, a little bit more advanced software now to uh, regulate the stream, which is kind of cool. Uh, be because um, I was, uh, I'm a big fan of Marcus's his stream, the one of the pilot edge controllers, and he has apparently been using some kind of streaming technology that allows uh, you guys in the chat to uh, put in commands, exclamation mark, whatever, uh, to evoke particular sounds in stream, uh, which are actually quite funny, uh, funny in Marcus's case. And as you can see, uh, Evanek has just pushed in the clock sound. It's time for the clock. <laughs> oh, man, it's wonderful. So there's something new on the stream. We've got sound bits and subscribers. So those of you who have subscribed to the Uncertified Pilot channel can um, make use of very awesome, great, custom-made sound bits for you guys to remind me of stuff that I'm forgetting during my flight or just to grab my intention for whatever. And um, I asked Sniper, our trusty uh, follower, um, to make some sound bites, some uh, uh, sounds for me that remind me of using the clock because that's always what he is doing on the chat. I'm, uh, you know, guys, I'm so bad at using the clock as part of my flight. It's such an important navigational aid. Um, so I thought it might be nice to have some sounds that you guys can or our subscribers can use to remind me of setting the clock. Uh, so he made a couple of audio commands. Um, that uh, that I just integrated here into the screen. And exclamation mark clock is one of the first. I got another one, which is exclamation mark a hey, snipe. Just write the right time in. Yeah, so snipe, the honor is yours. You can also use exclamation mark clock set. No underscores, just one command. Um, uh, which is also a very nice variation um, of a of a sound that uh, Snipe has been uh, has been making, and we also got exclamation mark forget or forgot I believe I I've put the sound commands in the uh, Uncertified Pilot Twitch channel page. If you look just on the plain channel page uh, there, you find a uh, a pane that describes the current commands that are available to subscribers, and so uh, you guys are free to um, to use those uh, to remind me of my. Um, of the clock in this case. Um, and I will also ask Mrs. Uncertified to make a few. And uh, well, in any case, during um, uh, during my flights, there I, I, there's no I doubt. I it. He set the clock. <laughs> I, I really left my ass off, Sniper. Uh, really, really great job. And again, hoping that the sound volume is okay. 
I have one one last one to finish off that what I will send when I'm done. Oh, that's awesome. So clock set, and we've got uh, exclamation mark uh, forgot. But it's it, to me, in my headset, it sounds a little bit low on volume, but I don't know if you guys... Yeah, it seems okay so far. Okay, good. Well, if not, let me know, because I can tweak uh, some sliders there. Um, anyway, so that's something new. Also what's new is we've got a flying miles system going, uh, which is actually kind of fun. Uh, still, I need to further think about how we can actually use it, but from now I on... I feeling we forgot something. <laughs> um, thank you, Sniper, again. Um, um, now, uh, the flight service bot here in chat, which is our new bot, also tracks all of our hours watching uh, the stream. And you can earn flying miles uh, for every 50 minutes that you're watching the stream and also uh, the extent to which you are ex actively in chat, sharing your passion uh, about flight simming. You can earn flying miles and you can actually use those miles to do some awesome stuff that I'm working on in the kitchen here um, that I will implement very, very soon. So uh, if you put in exclamation mark logbook, you get a update by flight service by the flight service bot here in chat that tells you your current hours log and your current rank and your current uh, flying miles which uh, well up to now has no function at all other than just a nice logbook feature but i'm working on making those flying miles a little bit more meaningful um uh, also in spirit of the uncertified pilot channel so um i've been working with some stuff there uh, that might be interesting I see that Evanek just put in exclamation mark logbook and nothing is happening. At least, not on my end. Well, you sure have a logbook, I guess. Or perhaps not because you're new uh, and I just started the um, bot and you have no hours logged and so it doesn't give a response. Let me see. Again, this is also new to me, but I really love the idea. Um, ba -ba -ba -bup. Avenek. No, you're not in the list just yet. Perhaps because the first 15 minutes need to be spent and then it makes a uh, logbook entry and starts to track your hours, I guess. I think that's going on. There's uh, already an entire list uh, of many people who have already been watching also from the previous stream, so I guess that's the issue. Um, and it might still work. Um, we'll have to see. If not, let me know, guys. But uh, try... Uh, yeah, in indeed. Just to try uh, in a uh, in 30 minutes or so. Yeah, so it starts from today. So I know you guys have already been trusty followers and been watching for many, many, many hours. Uh, but that logbook feature has just started and it needs to start somewhere. Uh, it cannot go back in time. So uh, that's uh, that's why. Um, alrighty, so guys, what we're going to do today, I had such a busy working day, so uh, not no fancy stuff, uh, also we've not been flying for a couple of days, so we're here at John Wayne, and I'm just going to do some regular, casual traffic patterns, uh, which I always love to do. Uh, John Wayne is also uh, a, a gorgeous airport, uh, actually it's getting darker and darker and darker, so we get a nice sunset going, I hope, while we are making traffic patterns. So it's going to be a stream of about uh, 45 minutes or so, just to have some casual cooling down, a cool down for today, um, that's uh, at least the intent. Um, okay, um, having said that, let me see if uh, my tracker IR is working. Yes, it is. Now, as you can see, uh, we're flying with real weather. It's great weather today. Uh, some clouds. Actually, I have not looked at the meter. I only saw uh, the green flight category depiction on my four flights, telling me that the weather was actually okay. Um, but I haven't really looked into what the weather is exactly. Um, so, let me see. This is John Wayne. We are currently uh parked uh, as always here at the at the southeast ramp so again when i'm going to request my taxi for at ground i'm going to expect that same old same old uh, taxi route to runway 20 left via alpha uh, hotel charlie and then it's kind of like an intersection departure here at kilo 20 left and i'm going to make left hand traffic patterns and i think also that the traffic pattern altitudes here differ from runway to runway so um let's Let's also have a quick look at those traffic pattern altitudes. As you can see there on the top, it says pattern altitude is 1,000 feet. 
uh, estimation so I guess that's the plus 1000 feet AGL rule uh, it's better to look also at the airport remarks so let's have a quick look and as you can see two zero left TPA is 800 feet for small engine aircraft and it's a thousand for twin engines so 800 feet it is MSL and AGL it's 856 so um, 800 feet MSL if we're going to set that altimeter so that's uh, that's what's going on Sniper is saying logbook and then s the flight service bot comes up with something entirely different. Well, perhaps not because the flight service bot also gives some timely, um, uh, some timed um, reminders. Um, so I think that was just incidental that uh, as soon as Sniper uh, put in that exclamation mark a logbook, then uh, the flight service bot came with that particular response. Ah, there you go. Hey, it works. Exactly. So we've got different ranks there, and again, uh, it's a little bit arbitrary at the moment, um, but we could do some interesting stuff with those points. Uh, and also, I, I, I don't like to introduce any gimmicks just per se to the stream that have no educational value at all, so I'm really trying to make a careful decision of how we can use those flying miles and ranks to uh, to bring some more interaction and again a little bit more value social educational value to the stream uh, but for the time being let's just check whether the thing actually works and it seems to be working so if you're new to the channel um, that logbook feature well only works after 50 minutes or so um, hey that's just how it is um, okay so we checked the traffic pattern 800 feet that's in our case uh, just fine um, and I'd just also like to see the METAR here, at least in four flights, 10 statute miles of visibility, few glides at two, uh, 25,000, we've got winds, 220, um, 220 uh, at 7 knots, well that's kind of like a crosswind, uh, but in our case because we're flying at two, um, uh, runway 20 left, uh, we kind of have a headwind, a little bit of a crosswind vector there, um, but we might have some nice exercise there in making crosswind takeoffs and, and landings as well. Also, uh, it's a good reminder for me, again, to keep that also uh, as part of my, my texting procedure uh, to do crosswind correction as well on the ground, uh, which I usually, uh, usually forget. Uh, also something that I noticed uh, in uh, the real world flight with uh, Mrs. Uncertified in the previous stream um, is that the use of a checklist is really important and I've, I've reminded myself of using a checklist some streams ago uh, I have a checklist but it's quite an elaborate one that's the student that unofficial student checklist that I've been using for some time let me see if I don't break anything um, so this one um, which actually is more like a study aid to really get a more thorough understanding of what the checks are for which i think is also really really important so each and every check is here um but just for practice or just for practice uh, you can use an abbreviated checklist as well uh, and i think i should make one because flying with a checklist is actually what all pilots do including the flight instructors and more experienced pilots uh, you just want don't want to skip any items uh, also during the climb um, get that checklist going so um, i think um, i will make one an abbreviated uh, Cessna 172 checklist and we'll share that on the discord with all you guys uh, for you to download for free and um I bet that there's going to be a sound command uh, very, very soon reminding me of to use the checklist as well uh, during my flight because so far I'm just doing it from the top of my head, usually forgetting about stuff, especially the climb checks and the cruise checks, uh, usually just with the startup, a pre-flight, and with the startup and the taxi, then the checks are still a part of my routine. But as soon as I take off, just the whole check checklist thing just leaves me which is not not good so um that's also something as a well um, a target or an objective of my of my training um so uh, just to give you some insight in what's uh, going on in my mind when i'm uh, training to fly here you will see good to see you as well here on the stream oh yeah it seems to be working that's nice peter good to see you as well happy monday so um, that's about it, I think, in terms of the briefing. We got good weather here. We're just flying locally in traffic patterns, so uh, not a lot of um, fancy stuff going on for today. Let's get going. 
And again, guys, let me know if the sounds are a little bit off. I mean, in terms of volume, let me know so I can s reset some sliders. I will also rewatch this stream uh, afterwards. But in case you uh, have a hard time hearing me or on the same or am I too loud or the engine, wh whatever, let me know so I can tweak on the go um, and we can optimize those sounds for you. Um, alrighty then. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, let's fasten our seat belts. For to fly here, guys. Ha! Ah. Especially after that real world flight. Um, okay, let's close the door. Call and dark check. Park and brakes are set. <laughs> well, to set the clock right now would not be a good moment. But this sound is going to be. It's such it's a great sound. Time for the clock. clock. Um, because it's getting anno It's really getting annoying if I hear this five times during a flight. So I like to prevent you guys to to make that sound. So that's why um, I think it's 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 such a it, it's just the right the right sound for me to uh, to get more serious with not forgetting the clock. You guys remember reminding me for 50 times or so to set that thing, and still up to now as a Cat 11 rated pilot, I still forgetting to set the clock. So uh, this is the sound that will probably guide me towards perfection one day. Uh, fire extinguisher, uh, life vests, uh, doors closed, ELT sets, flap lever is up, and it is up. That's good. Uh, my throttle is working. My Mixture is working. Trim is set. Uh, fuel tank set to both. Again, um, using at the looking at that uh, real world flight, it was a little bit surprising to me to see that the guy um, pulled the cutoff and not uh, the switch the fuel tanks to prevent cross feeding. Uh, does the same thing, I guess. Um, but well, again, subtleties uh, which really get me curious. Um, I will just stick to this uh, this check for now. So um, fuel tanks, yeah, alternate is in. Circuit breakers are all nicely tucked in, and um, that's about it. Let's also check the oh, let's also check the flight controls to the right. That one goes down. That one goes up. Down goes up. Good. Elevators, and again, also check that trim tab. It's working, and my rudders are working as well. Wonderful. The Pink Floyd clocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Ah, we've got also a other aircraft here in front of us. That's nice. Uh, never know. No, that, that must be a human pilot here because in con on towered airports here on Pilot Edge, there are no AI. There's no AI traffic uh, for good reasons, obviously. Um, so that's really, really nice. Okay, um, so that's the cold and dark check. Roger. So that means that we can now l have a look at our fuel. That's about enough for traffic patterns. That's great. Avionics uh, are turned on here. Do they work? They were already on. Perhaps my well, my switch panel avionics switch was off, but perhaps virtually it was not. Oh, I know what's going on. Uh, because I've been tinkering with the SIM while the battery was on, and I guess SIM coders, the Reality Expansion Pack, has remembered my setting here. And so in between streams, uh, in between flights, my battery is most likely drained, or drained enough for the avionics not to work properly. So let's go to the hangar and have a look. Uh, yeah, you can see we don't have that much of a charge going, so magic of flight SIM recharged. And again, battery's on. It's good. Um, and then again, the avionics on it should all work. Nice. Flaps down. Let's have a look as well. Flaps go down here. And they go up as well. And nicely in sync. Good. Um, this we're going to set very, very soon. On, on, on. Annunciator messages work. Um, seems to be right, right, right. Okay, good. Make sure just a tiny bit in. Fuel tank set to both. Fuel pump on. One, two, three. Cut off. Fuel pump off. And again, parking brakes are set. No one is walking around. Nope. So clear prop. Make sure full in. Set to 1200. Oil pressure is already in the green. That's good. There we are. Generator on. And avionics on. 
that's good. And let's lean for ground. Big RPM, which was over there. A bit enriching that mixture and reset to a thousand, allowing the engine to warm up. Wonderful. Let's see, 1200, that's good. Enable the GPS. This side as well. Very nice, seems to be working just fine. That means that we can listen to some frequencies. Mm -mm. Share Echo, good to see you as well. Welcome aboard. Happy Monday. Um, guys, how's the sound with the uh, with the engine? In my headset, it's a bit on the low side, so I prefer actually to turn it a little bit louder. Oh no, that doesn't work like that. It, that means that I'm changing the volume at your spot. Let me just quickly check uh, sounds. Is that this one? Exterior? Yeah, this is better. I think that was the right slider. Always a lot of tweaking there. Slightly low indeed, yeah. Again, it shouldn't be too loud, obviously. Uh, but I do like to hear some engine uh, roaring, obviously. So uh, I think this is better. If it's still low, let me know. Uh, frequencies. So, uh, again, John Wayne. Uh, uh, John Wayne, indeed it is. Uh, it is 126.0. 126.0. That sets. And let's set ground. We're going to stay in the pattern. So that is for runway 20 left. It's uh, That's the east side. So that's 120.8. 120.8. And we've got the tower on runways two zero left. That's one one nine point nine. Good. That's Orange listen. County, John Wayne Information Uniform. Uniform. One hundred Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than ten. Sky conditions twenty five thousand few. Temperature two three. Dew point one zero. Altimeter 2986. 2986. Arriving runways 20 right, 20 left. Departing runways 20 right. Confirmed. 20 Airport elevation. Left. Advise on initial contact. You, you have, have uniform. uniform. All right. Sounds good. Uh, winds were variable, light and variable. Well, we know. I don't think that 7 knots is really light and variable. We know it's coming from 210 at 7 knots. Uh, so that's something that we can look out for. We can also set the heading bug already to 2-0. Uh, that's about right. And it's synced. That's good. Uh, and we already set it to ground. 1 to 0 0.8 right. Yep, yeah, that's east. Okay. And come one. Let's turn it on and listen to the radio. See if it's actually working. Still think it's a little bit on the low side. Yeah, that's better. Delta Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, say request. Southeast ramp with uniform. Delta Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, so you can expect that. Close traffic. Thanks for that follow, old fly guy. Welcome on board. Um, yeah. John Wayne, ground, good day. Skyhawk, Papa Hotel, Tango, anyway, Mike is on the southeast ramp with uniform for close traffic today. Papa Hotel, Tango, India, Mike, John Wayne, ground, runway 20 left at Kilo, taxi via Alpha Hotel, Charlie. Two zero left at Kilo via Alpha Hotel and Charlie for Papa Tilting Mike. Okay, so uh, as expected, one quick look: Alpha Hotel and Charlie at Kilo for a two zero left at Kilo departure. Awesome. Uh, everything is set, set, set. Parking brakes released. Check those brakes. Good. 
Uh, taxiway is here to the left. No one is. Well, there is. Some ground vehicles there. Delta Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, fly heading uh, zero seven zero. Descend and maintain nine hundred thousand vectors to final. All right, here we go. Nice. Sun is setting. It's always the best time to fly an X-plane. It's so beautiful. And there we go. On Alpha we are. Let's check the center line. And again, looking at my heading indicator. It's working. Slip indicator, turn indicator is working. Good. And vacuum is low. Yeah, it's slow, but we expect that turn because information, Charlie. we need some RPM. My left aircraft calling was broken, say again. That's Skyhawk Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha. We are at the southeast ramp. Request traffic patterns. We have information, Charlie. Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha. Down runway 20 right, taxi via Alpha Lima. Cross runway 20 left. Ooh. 20 right, taxi via Alpha Lima. Cross 20 left at Lima. Papa Hotel Victor Alpha. That's nice. Alpha, so Avanek uh, is joining us as question? well. Breaking Mike, go ahead. Much appreciated. But he is directed to 20 right, so that means that he's going to fly right patterns. And Avanek. Right, Tango Mike, go ahead. Be sure to check the traffic pattern altitude. Dan, thank you for the donation, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. Get that vintage goggles going. Um, to wear that on stream is really, really fun. Always wanted to have those, you know, those old fashioned, old school goggles. So much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome on board. So I guess the controller just directs Evanek to the other uh, runway so he can just allow us to make traffic patterns endlessly without him needing to coordinate any of that. Because we're in, if we are in the same pattern, um, he needs to give us extended downwinds or all the stuff that we do usually at non-towered airports to separate each other in the pattern. Because we're now on a towered airport, that's the job of the tower uh, controller. So he's making his life a little bit, uh, a little bit more easy there. Again, guys, as always, if you have a pilot that you can, feel free to join in. Also, what I'm noticing, by the way, is with X-Plane's default weather, that the weather is reloading. Uh, I guess each 10 minutes or so when I'm reloading my real-world weather settings, uh, it's not really gradually changing the weather, but it's a, a complete reload, which is a little bit of a bummer. So I guess I'm going to set uh, those settings, reset those settings, so that it will update only in 30 minutes or so. There we are at Kilo, two zero left. Can we see Evanek? Is he already behind us? Uh, no. Oh, there he is. Is that Charlie? Oh, he is taxiing on Alpha, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, so we are here. Our engine is in the green. If you can look at the oil temperature there, so that's good. Make sure full in. Let's go to 1800 and I would expect filed plugs. Let's have a look. No unshaded messages. Everything is still stable. Left mag, yeah, you can hear. Again, uh, someone commented on YouTube a few days ago saying, Well, Tim, if you look at the RPM, nothing seems wrong to me. And I totally agree. If you look at the RPMs with a filed plug, um, it's just a usual... Um, drop you don't hear that the engine becomes rough uh, I'm already aware of that and sim coders as well so that's feedback that uh, the guys are already working on to improve uh, so it's only the sound the metallic -y sound that uh, triggers my attention uh, knowing that the rep thinks that we actually have spark a foul spark plug so that's why um, so uh, let's go to 2000 and let's lean a little bit more aggressively to turn up the heat in the cylinders also, that same pilot, fellow pilot on YouTube mentioned that 
That was also correct. Um, you should do this particular particular procedure, so he heating up the cylinders for 20 seconds or so. Not any longer because it's actually a little bit damaging, or might potentially be damaging to the cylinders. Um, and usually um, I'm chatting too long, far exceeding those 20 seconds. So what I should actually done, yes, I should actually, well, looked at uh, my estimated, I could set a timer or something like that. Let's have a look right now. Um, Make sure full in. Back to 1800. Left mag. And I don't hear the mentality sound, but as you can see in the RPM, there is not really a difference from before, so that's not realistic. Again, is worked on. Uh, so guys, any feedback uh, on the rep, let me know because I'm a SimCoder's partner and uh, those guys are really looking forward to any feedback to further improve on the rep. So um, please let me know. One last check here with the controls. Looks good. Looks good. Controls are nicely free. Um, could have done that also in idle, not with 1800, by the way. Uh, let's go idle. Makes a lot of noise, and we can pick up any stuff that's on the taxi uh, taxi way, which is not good. Makes dense. Um, pressure still good, no unshader messages. Okay, so we got a good Delta Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, turn right heading 130. Then guys on strobe lights on, mixtures full in, trim is set, we are ready to go. Switch to tower, 800 feet, left hand traffic patterns. Uh, so 800, that means 300 feet below. So that's 500 feet, we can already make that left turn. Uh, John Wayne Tower, Sky Pop Hotel, Tango, and you might get something short at 20 left at Kilo, ready for departure, close traffic. Up Hotel Tango, and you might get Tower, make left close traffic, report midfield down when you need to runway 20 left at Kilo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 20 left at Kilo, and report midfield each time you pop that mic. Okay, meanwhile, Evanek should be on the other side. Yeah, there he is, and he will do his announcement, I guess, very, very soon. We're gonna fly in parallel. John Wayne Tower, Skyhawk Papa Hotel, Victor Alpha, holding short, runway 20 right at Lima, ready for close traffic. Papa Hotel Alpha, Victor Alpha, John Wayne Tower, make right close traffic, report midfield down east, fast runway 20 right, clear for takeoff. There's 20 five. right, clear for takeoff, uh, we'll uh, in the green. make right, right patterns, and uh, report uh, midfield down with each time. Papa Hotel, Victor Alpha. And rotate. Delta Charlie, Alpha Alpha Alpha, 1 1 miles from CARM, fly heading 060, maintain 900,000 until established on the localizer, Trim, create ILS. Trim, VY first. Approach. And there we go. Ah, missed it, guys. Airborne. Did not reset my sentence with the weather, by the way. So I guess explain we'll reload those uh, clouds very soon. But again, it looks pretty. Just default X-Plane 11. 500 feet. Let's make that turn. A little bit of a right rudder there. It nose down to keep that speed where it should be. Just my crosswind turn. For a question. For three days, thing, I don't think you're able to hear me before, but yes, I go ahead with your question. For three days, Tango Mike, how do you read? Someone has a question, but no question arises, I guess. 100 feet too high. Or grade 8 Tango Mike Bulletin Tower. There's runway parallel. Bunch of flaps. There's Evanek on the wingtip. Just saw him over here. John Wayne Towers, Car Pop Hotel, Tango Indy Mike Smithfield. Pop Hotel, Tango Indy Mike, runway 20 left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, 20 left, Pop Hotel, Tango Mike. Let's see where Avenac is. Might be fun to extend my downwind just a tiny bit. So flying a little bit slow, so he can catch up. Perhaps John Wayne Tower, Papa Hotel, Alpha Victor Alpha, Smithfield. 
Tell Alpha Victor Alpha, can we 2 zero right clear for the option? 2 zero right cleared for the option, Papa to Alpha Victor Alpha. It's already put some 20 notch, uh, 20 degrees of flaps here. Which I should usually just set on base, but just slowing down just a tiny bit. Might be fun if we turn from final to base that we fly heads on. Alright, let's make the turn. Bit of a pedal there. A little bit slow there, so we need to be especially careful flying coordinated. Nice, the sun in the distance. Terry patterns, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Alright, coming in. And again, this is also, uh, which, which actually applies to any airport with parallel runways. That's the reload of the weather, I guess. Yeah. Um, I should not exceed my turn here. So... Because otherwise I will fly into the 2-0 right runway where Evanek is flying. Ah, he's just in front of me. Ha ha ha. Nice. Let's make the turn a little bit early. We're sure we're not flying on the glide path of 2-0 right. A little bit too high as you can see, putting in right rudder here, forward slip, watching that speed. San Luis Brown, Epic, however, 810 Romeo Bravo is an Epic 1000. So we got a red. Golf. With requesting uh, traffic advisors to Van Nuys, cruising elf to be 7,500 feet of whiskey. And we should slow down to 65. Again, regulate. Right there, Romeo Bravo, San Luis Ground, departure frequency 120.55, squawk 6. Looking for Avanac, don't see him right now. Focus on the landing. Departure frequency is 120.55, squawking 6624. I don't Epic. notice Epic. any crosswind. So it's pretty Romeo much head on. Alright, watch that speed, watch that speed. Focus on the far end of the runway, nose up, and just allow that speed, that energy to bleed off. Well, kind of okay, a little bit wobbly. Laps up, full power. A little bit of right rudder there. Airspeed is alive. 60, rotate. Allow the airspeed to increase first. VY, pitch down it just a tiny bit. Ah, there's Evanek. Wow. Evanek, I hope you are seeing this, but this is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Look, guys. <laughs> the Papa Hotels dominating John Wayne. <laughs> That's nice. Remaining a bit, 500 feet. See you on the other side, Evanek. So cool, yeah, it is. Yeah, and I should really install Discord, uh, Evanek, so we can chat at the same time. But I don't have Discord uh, here yet on my PC, so uh, that's why. All right, 800, push down on the yoke, allow the airspeed to increase first. Around 90, that's good for me. Set RPMs. And Louis Ground, uh, Epic number 810, Romeo Bravo is at transient parking, ready to taxi. Make that turn. Great one, dear Romeo Bravo, San Luis Runway 290, taxi the Alpha. What a nice flying weather. Alpha 810, Romeo Bravo. Delta Charlie, Alpha, 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 contact Canyon Tower. There we are, on downwind. Parallel with the runway, one on your flaps, push down on that yoke, and a little bit more power. Papa Hotel Victor Alpha, he's first. Sealed. Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha, telling tower, runway 20 right, clear for the option. 20 right, clear for the option, Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha. And John Wayne Tower, Sky Papa Hotel Tango, and Mike is midfield as well. Papa Hotel Tango, and Mike Tower, runway 20 left, clear for the option. 20 left, clear for the option, Papa Hotel Tango. He's gaining on me. I can see him just on the wingtip. Can you tell Delta Charlie Alpha 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 on IS approach runway 3? Who's gonna touch down first? Delta Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, can you tell runway 3 clear wind? Well, I have an egg. I'm gonna shortcut you. He's already lower, the bastard. Let's 
Let's see if I can make this. Have some fun. Oh, he's making a turn too. He's making a turn too. It's almost as if he's watching the stream. Watch that white band, because for 20 degrees I need to be there. There it is. We're heads on. We're heads on. He's actually a little bit closer. Yeah, he's not, re he's not really flying a base. Okay, I'm shortcutting it as well. I'm shortcutting it as well, you AVA. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it. He's going to win. He's going to win. Now, focus here because safe landing is also quite important. Much too fast. You can see Evanek is just over the right side there. There goes my speed. Not really properly trimmed. And bleed off that energy, bleed off that energy, bleed off that energy. Nice tip. Good. Flaps up and full power. Where is he? There he is. And he's already airborne. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. Light simming for you. That's cool. <laughs> it's almost like he's making waves there. San Luis Tower, Epic November 810, Romeo Bravo is holding short of runway 299. <laughs> Sniping, exactly. Ready we are competitive. San Luis Tower, runway 299, clear for takeoff. All right, see you on the other side, Evan Eck. Clear for takeoff, runway 29 or 810, Romeo Bravo. So, Snipe, when are you joining in? I thought you had fixed your flight simulator computer. Would love to have you as part of the um, flight crew here. Make traffic patterns and stuff and group flights. 90 knots, RPM set. Make that turn. Some altitude there. A little bit more left rudder, as you can see. Good. Ready in the white band. 80 plus still. Any time now. John Wayne Tower, Sky Pop Hotel Tango, any mic is midfield. Pop Hotel Tango, any mic runway 20 left, clear for the option. 20 left, clear for the option, Pop Hotel Tango mic. And John Wayne Tower, Pop Hotel Victor Alpha, midfield. Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha, runway 20 right, clear for the option. 20 right, clear for the option, Papa Hotel Alpha Victor Alpha. I believe in a previous flight, Avanek and me were also flying here on um, uh, on John Way, and Keith was actually the controller, and he knew that we were buddies, obviously. And he I'm also. Sorry, Alpha, Alpha vacated runway 03 at Echo. He okay, also assigned us. Alpha, Alpha, Papa to the ramp, g'day. To ramp, that's our Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha. Let's make it really short here. He also assigned us to different uh, runways. Ah, uh, this is high. This is... Uh, where is Evanek? There he is. Still making that turn to base. Watch my speed here. Not a time to do forward slips. There's the runway. Again. Regulate my speed with pitch. A little bit nose up. Where is he? Yeah. See him again. Don't overshoot this turn, Tim. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? 65. Four whites. John Wayne is such a beautiful airport. And again, guys, this is Greg's his scenery. GPB 500. Bayware. Must have scenery for X plane. Includes many, uh, just a couple of dozen airports, high quality. 
good frame rates. Nose up. A little bit too early. Nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up. Nice. That one was really nice. Flaps up. Good power. And again. There's Pete's alive. And nose up. Any sign of Amanek? No, I think he's behind us. Actually, it's not. Jeep, Greg. I thought his field was yours. Am I mistaken? Well, I'm such a big fan that I think that any pretty airport is yours, but I thought John Wayne was yours. 500 feet. There you go. A little bit of left rudder. A little bit more, I see. Less. And again, the um, the relevance or the importance of flying a coordinated turn is not just for the flight instructor's sake. It's also for your stomach, obviously, in the airplane, because you feel much more centered in your seat. Thanks for the donation, Dan. Again, 10 euros. Thank you so much. Wow, that's really encouraging. Keep that vintage goggle coming. Thank you, buddy. Um, but it's also very relevant when you are in slow flight because you want to have the right angle of attack your airplane or your wings hitting the air a little bit too slow there and especially from your base to final turn, if you are slow with flaps and you're not coordinated, you have... John Wayne Tower, Papa Hotel, Victel, fast midfield. Whoa, he's faster than me. Papa Hotel, Victor Alpha, runway 20 right, clear for the option. 20 right, clear for the option, Papa Hotel, Victor Alpha. Great wind here, Romeo Bravo, contact depart. Contact departure, Nova 810, Romeo Bravo. John Wayne Tower, Scarpa Hotel, Tango Mike, is midfield. I thought that thing on record way 2 0 left with the option. Clear for the option 2 0 left. Oh, that's right. So, especially from that base to final turn, when you are slow with flaps, you can imagine if you're yawing that you can actually. Um, yeah, how do you say that in English? Um, oh, more clearance. Stall. To stall one wing. IFR 2. You Most can circle obvious. down and crash. That's actually what happens quite a lot in terms of uh, accidents, with flight accidents. Extending my downwind here, by the way. A bit more power. Great one, Dave Ramirez. Bravo, Santa Barbara departure radar contact. Number two, Quebec. Just one more lap, power and then I'm going to sign off, guys. Fairfield, fly heading two five meter. Meet up with missing uncertified. But man, look Number at that two, sunset. Clearly, uh, in LA. Fly heading two five zero radar vector to the Mission Bay two hundred three degree radial in the San Diego November four tech route. Maintain GPP, you have default loaded. 3000, hmm. expect 10000, 10 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.6, squawk 6744. Oh, yeah, FNX is already short final. Two back clear, Los Alamitos on departure 250, right of after the Mission Bay. Uh, missed that radial and this San Diego number 4 tech route. Maintain 3000, expect 10000, 10 zero minutes after departure. 196. I'll push her into 6744 in the box. Oh my gosh, you're right, Greg. The, uh, two, nine, or three degree well, this is already default X plane. Imagine two, nine, two, what Greg's. Yeah, I know the, the, the terminals and so are not that pretty. Hmm, that's weird. I thought I thought I installed um, John Wayne there. Hmm. Need to have a look. Thanks for noticing, uh, Greg. And sorry for associating your grand work with explains the fault scenery because now that you know I can see that the terminals are quite basic and boring actually hmm okay Evanek is already on the upwind alright nice flaps up
Goes down. Let's see, where's Evanek? He's already on the crosswind. A bit more nose down here. Really pushing on that yoke, which is not good. Cowling nicely on the horizon. Yeah, exactly, Greg. No, yeah, but I thought I just said it just right. But I am far to Baker Field. I'll have a copy with whiskey. Exceeded my turn altitude here. I'm already at cruising uh, or traffic pattern altitude. All right, nose down. Uh, the airspeed to increase. There's the turn. A little bit right rudder. Two yeah. green Charlie whiskey. Full stop this time. Here to the Bakersfield Airport, via runway three zero departure procedure. Van Nuys VOR, direct Lake Hughes VOR, the Fasto two arrival. There we Maintain go. Maintain four thousand. Expect one zero thousand. One two minutes after departure. Departure frequency one three four point two. Again, guys. Six two six five. Got a new flight service bot going here on the channel. Clear to Bakersfield Airport. Runway procedure. Nice. Because now Huge. you all have your own uncertified pilot logbook. Oh, sorry. And you can evoke Arrival your procedure. current ranking, Mountain request your current respect. ranking by typing in exclamation mark logbook. And you see how many hours you logged and how many Where flying miles you've earned there. so far by being active in chat and so watching. Tower, Papa Tower, Papa Tower, just about to turn watching. Papa Tower, Papa Tower, Papa Tower, Papa Tower, Papa Tower, Papa Tower, Two zero right clear for the options, Papa Hotel, Victor Alpha. And John Wayne, Tower, Sky, Papa Hotel, Tango, Mike is midfield, full stop this time. Papa Hotel, Tango, and you make runway two zero left, clear to land. Clear to land, two zero left, Papa Hotel, Tango. And again, we, I could also just set uh, midfield, and he would set the tower control, would set well clear for the option, which also includes a full stop. Um, uh, ground, uh, but I'd just like to ramp. give a heads up to the controller. With efficient Tango, really, taxi. So no, exclamation mark, logbook, and you get your ranking, which is new, which is uh, part of uh, a new system that I'm working on to bring a little bit more educational value to the stream. So currently it's just, it seems like only a gimmick, but I think there is some purpose to that or something that we can use it for. And also for those who have subscribed to the channel, uh, we've got sound commands currently consisting of awesome awesome sound commands made by sniper that are obviously about me reminding to use the clock which for this flight is not that useful because we're just flying traffic patterns but exclamation mark clock and exclamation mark clock set and exclamation mark forgot uh, those commands are listed at my channel page can be used if you're a subscriber to further grab my attention Great wind there, Romeo Bravo, contact Los Angeles Center, 135.5. Again, slow flight here, you can see a turn. Trying to be coordinated here, a little bit more left rudder, as you can see. To prevent that stalling of one wing. Four whites. Evanek is already on the runway. And it seems that he's also taking a turn and he's making a turn towards our side. So it's going to be a cozy parking. Very nice. All right. A little bit slow there. Jumbo Tower, Papa Hotel, fixed all fast fake. It's the runway at Hotel, only short two zero left. Number eight one zero Romeo Bravo Los Angeles Center. Is there any specific reason you're you're giving me a native code? Nose up a little bit too early. It's the normal thing to do when you're talking to a tower or an approach going into nice the airport. Nice landing, Tim. Two hundred miles from your destination isn't even going to know. Good. Good for Van Nuys. Please for that. Not to mention be able to do anything about it. Now let's drive all the way down because we need to taxi to this side. And Evanek is over there, so I guess he needs to hold short for traffic on the runway. He'll join after me. Tower, tower, to Quebec, coming from runway 24, ready for departure. 
There are two correct Palomar Tower runway 24 clear for takeoff. So clear for runway 24. Aerodynamic braking here, pulling on the yoke just to make as little use of the brakes as possible. Even though we're not going that fast, so I guess at this speed, the aerodynamic braking does not have that much effect. Let's salute to Avanek. Avanek, thank you for joining on the stream. Much appreciated. Had some nice shots there, which we should clip and highlight. So here we are, also at a hotel. Landing lights off, strobe lights on, uh, net lights on because it's already quite dark. Lean for ground, set to a thousand. Again, we need a checklist also for this stuff. John Wayne Tower, Sky Corporate Tating, Mike is clear to zero left at hotel, taxi to the southeast ramp. Papa Hotel Tango and Mike, taxi to parking via Alpha, good day. Via Alpha to parking, thanks for the help today. Papa Hotel Mike. Papa Hotel Alpha, Victor Alpha, taxi to parking via Hotel Alpha, cross runway 20 left, follow traffic straight ahead. Taxi to the parking, uh, cross 20 left, and we'll follow the traffic ahead of us, Papa Hotel Victor Alpha. Nice. And so we are the Papa Hotel Convoy is taxiing back to the hangars. Again, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Have a neck waves back. Nice. Back. Again, we should fly with Discord to have a neck. I need to install it. So we can chat while flying, that might be Okay, Quebec, so call apart to write a contact. Climb in hand 10,000. So in the Mission Bay, 293 degree radio. Uh, let's also turn our taxi lights on here. Usually we should switch to ground, but because Pilot Edge works with controllers working on multiple frequencies, because of staffing obviously, staffing reasons, uh, usually they, they just uh, allow you just to stick on tower, because it's the same controller. So what we can do is park over here. I think we believe we started here as well. Don't know for sure. No grounds, vehicles, no. Let's uh, taxi to the right side here of this yellow line. <laughs> Thank you, Snipe. All right, let's taxi all the way down to here. Sunset there to the right side. What could be any better than this, guys? And online multiplayer is Evanek. Avionics off. Text lights off. Strobe lights off. Cut off. And there's Evanek. And now the, the, all the, the models are much more advancedly animated. So we also see the shutdown, I believe. We also, the, the lights would work and all of that stuff. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. I, also, the door. Could you open your door, Avanek, your left door? I think... I don't know if that's animated as well, but I thought it was. El Gardoon, thanks for the follow. Oh, I don't think so. And it shouldn't be because it's not that much of an important feature to model, I guess. But it was actually quite uh, elaborate, so that's uh, that's wonderful. Opened. Yeah, well, we don't see anything on this side. Okay, well, thanks for trying. Thanks for trying. It's wonderful that... Uh, look at the sunset, guys. Wow. All right. Um, how many minutes do I have left? Well, just a couple. So let's look at the traffic patterns and at the landings because it's just fun to do. Also, by the way, fingers crossed, OBS has not crashed so far. That's good. Again, for those who are also having trouble with OBS... You need to update all of your drivers, which is likely, it's common sense, but I'm only was behind just a few increment, increments on my drivers. And I guess OBS is so up to date that it needs those new drivers, I guess. I update it and it seems to be working. Um, and uh, I hope that that was the case because I didn't change any other thing. Um, perhaps it had something to do with Twitch, but I think it was OBS. So, um, so far, so good. Um, Door is still, yeah, it's good. Uh, prevent cross-feeding, obviously, and uh, control wheel lock and all of that stuff. Okay. Disconnect from Pilot Edge. That was a really nice flight. Disconnected. So much more relaxed after such a flight. It's wonderful. Uh, flight control, uh, flight recorder, I mean. 
Let's have a look. Shift four. The Papa Hotel. Tango, give me a mic. The runway. Again, need to fix that scenery because apparently I was flying with default scenery here. Thanks, Greg. Again. Control P. Those are the traffic patterns that I've been flying. As you can see, some shortcuts here to gain on Avenac or to practice some... Uh, and again, it's not really that much of a short... Um, uh, short final there. can actually be a little bit more short. I believe also in part of the airport remarks, you should make your turn to base somewhere in front of some road, I believe. So not extend it too much. As you can see here, pretty much on the mark with my crosswind turns here. A little bit off, as you can see, where some... I guess this one is off then, looking at all of uh, those four tracks there. Um, not a big one in terms of altitude. Oh, it's pretty dang on. That's good. And let's have a look. At the landing here. A little bit crap to the right, so there was a cross. There was a crosswind. Didn't see any shadow there. is usually handy to see whether I touch down nicely but I guess because of night settings the shadow is not working or is it disabled or the strobe lights are it's hard to see but you can see here with the uh, with the smoke main wheels first and then the nose wheel so that's very good coming in very good Again, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up. Bum, bum. And then nose wheel. That's a much better timing. Just a, just a, a second or so in between the main wheels touching down and the nose wheel. Just gently put that nose wheel down. Very nice. Okay, next up. Cheers from Brazil. Thank you, Rap. Hoping you have a great Monday. Or had a great Monday, actually. No, it's in... No, you're just having your Monday, I guess. Here in the Netherlands, it's already in the evening. Again, great landing. What a nice picture. Guys, wow. Flight simming is so cool. Look at that. Still the... the most prettiest picture of all here was Avenac here in my uh, right window just departing just a little bit lower than me that was a really nice shot definitely gonna clip that look at this this is a sim Man. all right next one what other kind of view ah these are also nice views I guess this was the end. Yeah, that was the final, uh, final egg. Looking from the towers, I think is also really fun. What I also did a couple of times, uh, also just for relaxation, relaxation sake, um, is to um, just connect to Pilot Edge, not fly. Uh, just use the plain old viewpoint feature of X Plane, and just sit on an airport where it's a little bit more busy. Tune into the radios and just spot pilot edge pilots fly in it's so relaxing and just do some work on the in the background it's uh, it's almost like a meditation and sometimes there are some funny and educational things going on on the radio actually um it's really uh really nice to get relaxed here john way yeah i should update that scenery I'm getting curious actually uh, how much better the John Wayne uh, of Greg actually is. I know that the terminals there are, are these are quite repetitive kind of textures, and you can actually huge glass screens, and it's uh, it's really something else. So I'm sure to uh, I'm sure to update that. 
Greg, Tim also, yeah, I know. Uh, you also uploaded French Valley, new release, but we'll give it a couple of days for people to check out before I send a notification. Ah, that's why, because I, I noticed it on your changelog just incidentally today, and I thought, hey, that's cool. And um, um, so I updated. But it's good to see that you're still busy on that uh, on that stuff. Thank you, Snipe. Tim, I need to practice a bit more at good old Oceano before joining you guys. Mr. Service is uh, way ahead of me. Roger that. Well, we are still looking forward to uh, join or share the, uh, the virtual skies with you, Snipe. But just take your time. Again, also not just because it takes time to really nail your, your, um, your flight skills, but also at least in my experience, and I think it's also the case for Mrs. Um, it's such a special, memorable time. The, f the first tries at, an, at a traffic pattern on an untowered airport. The first time you contact ADC. The first. Don't hate. Don't don't get any haste going. Uh, don't get hasty. Uh, really enjoy those incremental um, leaps. I would say. Uh, so take all the time in the world, be mindful, and enjoy that that progress that you're that you're making. Because there is no way, at least in my case here, um, to ever return to that thrill I had and that anxiety and the novelty of contacting ADC for the first time. That's gone. It's now much more familiar, uh, and it also has a different flavor to it, which is also something new and gratifying. Because you know the guys and you feel more competent, which is also a good feeling. But it's different than that verse adventure student pilot check-in, not knowing for sure whether you're actually saying it right and that stuff. So take your time. Oh, I know, Snipe, that we inspired you. You're inspiring us as well. And kid, thank you. Unknown kid, thank you for the follow. Awesome. Evan Echo was so scared the first time on Pia. Oh, me too. My gosh. I actually made a... Um, I did... I, um, yeah, I have it on stream, obviously, at uh, Palm Springs. That was the airport where I uh, first made that contact. Um, and that's also why... Also, just to extend on the fact how important or valuable or meaningful that, that moment was, that's also part of why I so much like... Uh, uh, Palm Springs International Airport as my home airport, virtually. Because it's associated with that first call. And I, I, could, I rehearsed that flight many, many times before I actually did the flight and contacted ATC. Uh, so uh, it, it's really printed in my mind. Um, so I would also say, if you are up for that first ATC contact, perhaps if you're just following through the CAT ratings, that will be San Luis Airport. Um, that's the CAT... I, I, rem I lost track of what the cat rating is associated with that rating. I don't believe it. He set the clock. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love those sound bits. Keep them coming, guys. Um, but uh, that's also why it's important when you progress through your training, at least as a student pilot, serious student pilot, and you're, you're really intending to go through all the cat ratings, take your time, but also pick an airport that that you have some feel with it or and again take the time uh, but especially to also take take the time to pick the airport where you like to make that first content and in my case Palm Springs is actually a little bit more difficult than I initially thought because I, I thought it was handled like a Delta class airport but actually it's like a Charlie so when I first did my uh, my um, my inbound uh, I was flying towards I think from 29 Palms I don't know for sure, to uh, Palm Springs. And I said, hey, here I am with Bravo, uh, ten, 10 miles out, uh, inbound for a full stop. I immediately got a squawk code, uh, and that, well, that was kind of a, uh, kind of a surprise. Not that much of a dif difference with a Delta class entry, by the way. Um, but it was a little bit different. So um, don't use a Charlie uh, airport, just a regular Delta, nice, cute Delta class airport, like St. Louis or French Valley. Make sure you've got all the scenery going. Uh, fly it before you actually do that first call. Um, and so, you, so at the time when you do that first ATC contact, you are fully there, fully mindful, and you can enjoy it. Um, I've, I've been re-listening to that audio bit afterwards so many times, also just in bed, just grinning, like, I did it, I made contact with ATC. And I, I think that's also a big compliment to Pilot Edge. Uh, you know, guys, I'm, I'm a big fan of Pilot Edge, but it also tells you something about not only the realism, 
that Pilot Edge provides in terms of agency protocol and procedures, but also just the feel. Uh, I mean, mic fright, microphone fright, uh, is a phrase that is commonly used uh, at flight schools, but also if you look at YouTube, uh, AOPA, uh, Sporties, uh, all, all, the, all the flight schools talk about this, that many student pilots at the beginning are afraid to to contact ATC, which is a very common phenomenon, right? You don't know exactly what to say, people talk really fast, a lot of jargon. Um, and that excitement or that anxiety, uh, that thrill, uh, is also simulated or provided by Pilot Edge in a way, uh, which I think is, uh, uh, well, again, is a big compliment, I guess, uh, or a big endorsement for Pilot Edge and how important that stuff is and how much joy it brings me as a uh, as a virtual pilot to be on Pilot Edge, also just to fly on multiplayer here with Avanek. That's also included, obviously, in the Pilot Edge uh, subscription. Um, it's just a multiplayer kind of service, but also on top of that, the ATC, um, it, it really brought my um, my flight sim to life. Now, I feel a great ending shot with the sun in the background coming up. Exactly. So let's do that. It's now 9 o'clock here in the Netherlands. Time for us to shut down. Ooh, just in time. Look at that. Just in time. Um, let me see what's a nice shot here. Oh, a certified pilot there just at the bottom. It could not be any better. Evanek, thank you again for joining in on the patterns. Much enjoyed it. Uh, Going to rewatch the stream to uh, see those bits and highlight the shit out of those uh, wonderful shots there where you were flying just near me on the 2 zero ride. That was really awesome. Thanks. Um, and guys, thank you again for joining in today. Snipe, as usual. Rep, thank you. Uh, also, Dan, thank you for the donations. Much, much appreciated. Uh, get that, um, again, get that uh, vintage aviator goggle stuff going. Uh, really excited about that, uh, to wear that on stream. Thank you again. Um, let me see, guys, so many of you here. Wired, FSX, GPP, obviously, Greg, thank you for being here and also uh, giving me a heads up there on the scene. Have a look. I don't know what's going on there, but thanks again. Thank you for joining here, and good to know you are doing well. Um, guys, Thanks again. I really enjoyed myself here. Recharged for work. Another working day tomorrow. Uh, I hope you as well. Looking forward to see you um, in one of the next streams. Uh, let me also go to my classic scenic uh, ending uh, shot here. Also, uh, quite pleased that the uh, flight service bot thing is working with the logbook. Uh, tracking all of those uh, hours that you guys are putting into the uncertified. I know many of you have already been s looking at the stream so many hours. Those hours are not logged yet. So from today, that's what the flight service bot is doing. Assisting here uh, at, uh, at the stream. Um, and we also get that, uh, those wonderful sound commands here. Uh, also made possible by Sniper. Uh, to remind me of the clock and I can imagine that in uh, future streams, future flights um, there are going to be a lot of other commands that I need uh, for you guys to remind me of stuff that I need to do in the cockpit to uh, become a better pilot, an instrument rated pilot but also a private pilot. <laughs> Another great stream, I'm so pleased you like the sound bites. Absolutely. So, guys, again, thank you for watching. Hoping to see you next uh, in a flight where I will pick up the thread again with my IFR training. Uh, I think I've already completed my uh, first stage of my training, actually. So that means that next up is the stage two of my training, which is all about flying instrument procedures. Gonna delve into the GPS, the autopilot. As you know, I'm a slant alpha kind of guy. So I'm totally new, actually, to flying on the autopilot and planning in the GPS. We now got the Reality XP on board, so that's going to be interesting. And then we're going to move up to departure procedures, obstacle departures and stuff. I need to also need to delve into the King Schools videos again to refresh my memory of all of that stuff. So it's getting started for real. Instrument flying has been checked, also quite interesting and challenging. But now we're going to fly procedures, including ATC as well. Exciting! If you're exciting, if you're excited about that as well, be sure to stick around. Hoping to see you next uh, when I uh, will uh, delve into the GPS and the other part. Guys, as always, happy flights. Happy blue skies. Palm Springs Tower, Skyline, Hotel Tango, and your mic is 10 miles north of the airport at 3000. With information X ray, and one for a full stop, and landing 13 left if that's available. Hotel Tango, India Mike, Palm Springs Tower, Squawk 6250. 
6250. Public Delta, uh, Tango with you, Mike. Palm Springs Delta, there's 2985 radar contact, about uh, one zero miles west of the Palm Springs VOR. Presently landing, uh, runway 31, you're requesting straight up for 13. Uh, that's fine, yes, please. Ever, uh, correction, Papa Hotel, take it, you Mike, make straight in runway 13 left and clear to land. Wind is 09 or 05. Clear to land runway 3 left, Papa Hotel, take it, Mike, please. Palm Springs, Germans, plus 4658, this type is a final slam call for request clearance to Vegas as filed. Plus 4658, Palm Springs clearance. Good afternoon. Not able to give you that file. I'll be forward to Stephanie. Call us 4658 is clear to the Las Vegas airport. We have five Cathedral 1 departure procedure to Palm Springs. Victor 370 to 29 Palms. Victor 538. Cresso. Join a Cresso 3 arrival. Maintain 7,000. Expect flight level 2405 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.7, squawk 6316. Palm Springs, Victor 37029, Palms Victor 538, Presso, Presso 3. Initially flight 7000, expect 4085, departure 166, box 6316, plus 4658. Pause 4658, three back is correct. Tango to Mike, taxi to the ramp via Echo and the street. Taxi to the ramp via Echo and the remain in the street. See Papa Delta and Mike. Ontario Tower, Cessna 237 Charlie Alpha, approximately 3 uh, 4 miles to the west in Bell Tower. Number 237 Charlie Alpha, Roger, inner left traffic. Left downwind, runway 26 left, report base. Enter left downwind for 26 left, and we'll call you base uh, 237 Charlie Alpha. Charlie Tower, United 242. United 242, John Wayne Tower, only 2 0 right, clear to land, wind 170 at 13. Clear to land, 2 0 right, United 242. Public Wayne Tower, GMR 22, thank you, Kilo, I have that's fine. 